happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Kato KA369. This is an AM, FM, weather band emergency radio. You can find these on Amazon for $24.99. My example cost me $20 bucks because they had a $5 off coupon at the time. And keep watching, you might find the same deal. I like the looks of it, yellow and black, so I'd give it a try. So here's the box that comes in. I really like the brand, of course, Kato. You guys know that. Multifunctional emergency radio. Awesome. Picture I showed you, all hazards and NOAA weather alert. SOS alert, Voyager Eco. There you go. A little side panel, you got some features there. Um, super bright LED torch. A reading lamp, nice. It takes AA batteries, which I thought was a plus. A lot of these emergency radios, they'll have a lithium battery, which this one does. And they'll have the dry battery bay, but they'll only take AAA batteries. So this having AA batteries is, is nice, because they're going to have longer capacity. Longer run times with that larger capacity in it. So there you are. On the back side... Down here, cell phone charger. Does a good job, by the way. We'll talk about that. And it says, be prepared for an emergency. All right. So let's go and open this up and see what we get for 20 bucks. Yeah, $20 emergency radio. You got to wonder. Um, this one here, I'm pleasantly surprised with its performance. So we'll take the stuff out. I think I got everything. Let's see. We got some pamphlets, I think. More stuff in there. Okay. Box is empty. Set that aside. Let's see what we get in the box. We got some paperwork, a radio, nice. A cable. Of course, it's going to be your generic micro USB variety. This is to charge the radio. They actually say in the instructions not to use this to charge your devices, but in a pinch, you can. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what's this thing here. Registration. Okay, great. You do get a warranty, which is nice for in the US. Uh, so here we go with phone charger user manuals with an S. This is only one, so I don't know why they did plural there, but let's just flip it around through the book a little bit so you get an idea in case I miss anything. Boy, that's really small printing. There you are, some of the, the turning. <laughs> yep, they got to work on their spelling. Come on, Kato. Come on, guys, you guys can figure that out. But anyway, I'll just flip through here. And I'll go through all these. I mean, it's a pretty basic and easy to use radio. Um, yeah, I went and tested all the features, even the dynamo crank. Um, I don't actually go nuts on that. But right here it says five minutes of winding gives 15 to 20 minutes of radio. I would lean towards the minimal, five minutes to 15 minutes of radio time. That's at 120 RPM. <laughs> so you're spinning that thing pretty quick. <laughs> so not bad. Uh, the internal battery is nice, too. We'll talk about that when we get to the radio. But there you go. It shows the dry battery bay. Three AA batteries go in there. Nice. Charging external devices. It automatically starts charging when you plug in the cable. It automatically senses it, which is nice. And there you go. And, of course, here is some specifications in case I miss anything again. I think it yeah, kind of went over most of that. But I might miss something. So there you go. And safety instructions, don't drop it, okay? Don't open it up, make it zapped. It's true, you could. <laughs> QR code, awesome, okay. So, we're done with that, let's get to the radio. All right, so this is the Keto K369. Of course, it's yellow and black, I like that. It's in bubble wrap, which is not making it easy for me to get this out. Come on, it's sticking somewhere. I'm not sure where, but... Oh, it's on the antenna. <laughs> Okay, hooked on the antenna. So there it is. So let's do something fun. So I'm gonna go down here and let's like start messing with it. <laughs> There's our light. Uh, let's not wake up the neighborhood. Got our siren. <laughs> uh, top here, a little reading lamp. All the way open there, there we go. Cool, I guess it has a little switch on the inside there. Yep, it does. Actually, remember I took one of these apart to take a look. Let's see, get that back in there. Uh, you got a volume. Got our dial right there. Nice. You got three LEDs, tuning, uh, power bank feature, charge light. Uh, what else we got? FM. 
Got AM. Oh, the AM band works eh, fair uh, during the day on local stations mainly. Just that's about it. Weather band. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 66 at Waukegan and 66 at Milwaukee. Pretty cool. A uh, battery switch over here. At O'Hare, it was 77. Some stuff behind there. Nice. Solar panel, Here's loving it. Dynamo. Usually I'll whoop, try battery bay. <laughs> Usually I'll do this when the radio's off. It actually feels pretty decent to, to use. So there we go. Okay, that was a fun little factor. I did that because I'm getting a lot of people go, hey, you didn't even turn the radio on until 10 minutes in. Well, I did it before 10 minutes. <laughs> Turned it on. So there you go. You know it works. <laughs> so let's zoom it in. Let's do my traditional review. Um, so dimensions, we have six inches in length. We have three and a quarter inches in height. And we have two inches in depth, including the tuning knob and volume knob there from front to back. Pretty nice. Now let's do some size comparison. Um, I do like to compare to other radios too. I have my very popular, uh, this is the Time Mahoon uh, Gear Test Submarine One radio. I really like this radio. Uh, when these, this is on sale for $19.99. This is close to this one. This one's around $16.99. And uh, there's some reasons why I would choose this one. But then there's reasons why I'd choose this one. And of course, we can go over that. But for size, you can see these two radios, two emergency radios, both yellow. I do like that. So the back, this is a more substantial dynamo to it. But it only has one power source, so that's that's the key. This uh, 369 has the dual power source. I do like that. And of course, we can do like a CC pocket here, like I always do. CC pocket in the house. This emergency radio looks huge compared to it. This is an AM FM NOAA weather band. Also, okay. And of course, you got your SkyWave. There you go. Shortwave radio with NOAA weather alert also. Okay, it can be an emergency radio. And then we have a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves Kaito, or Kato. I used to say Kaito. <laughs> From China land, he's Iron Man. Yeah, and you know, this radio, I've seen it in different brands. So Kato just kind of stamped their name on it, but they put a warranty with it, which is nice. So there you go. You got an idea for size comparison. So let's go over features of the Kato KA369. Now you saw me do all that stuff in the beginning of the video. Let's do it again. <laughs> we have that LED uh, torch there. It's not bad. Uh, I was actually surprised that it produces enough light to see around the house when the lights are off. Um, they say it's one watt. Um, you know, it's it's not bad. It's kind of a bluish purple artifacts there. It's It's a basic flashlight. Okay, don't expect a ton, but it's there in case you need it. I did the SOS alert. I'm not going to do it again. That's a siren and it flashes this light. Nice, right? <laughs> um, over here, yeah, I showed you the three LEDs here. Tuning LED turns green. Uh, this one here is like blue uh, when you're charging your uh, power stuff and your phone charger there, your USB out, excuse me. There's the charge indicator when you're spinning the dynamo or using solar charging. If I cover that, the solar power, see that? So it's charging. Nice. Our dial, you can see weather band on top. Uh, we're FM 87 to 108 and AM 530 to 1700. Again, AM band was so-so during the day, and I assume it's going to be the same way during the evening. Our uh, volume, and, volume and tuning knobs, which are really nice, right on the front, and they're raised. This is all hard plastics. There's no soft touch here. A lot of people like that because of those soft touch radios do get gummy over time. I think they're improving those finishes, though, going with the silicon-based, so it's not doesn't get like that over time. So that's nice to know. Over here we have a two-inch speaker. Now I measured the speaker grill, it measured an inch and a half. I took the radio apart and the speaker goes past those holes there and it's two inches. And it's actually a pretty decent speaker. It's not one of those cheap uh, plastic ones. It's a normal speaker with a big magnet on the back. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's still a tinny sound, but it's a better speaker than I've seen in most. Okay, so I showed you the little switch here for the dry battery bay, AA batteries, or lithium ion. That is nice. So if you want to conserve, just in case, uh, something, uh, you can charge it up and then you switch this to AA so it does not turn on. So right now I have nothing in the battery bay, so this light will not work, siren will not work. It's nice in case something gets bumped. It's nice to have that. So go back to lithium ion. 
And of course, that rubber jacket there kind of gives a little waterproofing here. You see DC input, we got our micro for charging the radio. There's our USB out. Uh, that uh, power bank feature is one amp, five volts, uh, pretty solid. I like to see that. Uh, and our headphone jack, headphone experience, uh, it's pretty decent, no low level hiss. It is FM mono to be expected, no stereo on this radio. Uh, expect nice lows on FM, decent mids and light on the highs. Uh, AM band, it's flat neutral tone, which is good for sports, news, and talk radio. So there you go, not a bad experience for headphones. I would actually pack this radio with a pair of headphones, that way you can serve more power by not using the speaker. The top, I showed you it had a reading lamp there. Um, I think there's like, what, one, two, three, four, five LEDs? And they, they're about a yellowish, yellow green light. Okay, so it's not too bad. It switches on right about there at the top. There you go, and you can like, I think you can stand the radio like this. It doesn't stand perfectly, but it will. It's nice, so you can read like that. Because uh, it's kind of hard to read like this. <laughs> but that's cool, and it's got the little solar panel there. which Don't expect it to charge the radio, just kind of trickle charge. Our antenna is actually a decent uh, length, 17 inches, and it does swivel. Uh, and they notched it here too, so you can almost get to 360, like in that. It's a pretty handy feature. Carry strap, well, that's always a handy thing, loving that too. On the back here, of course you saw me spinning the dynamo. It's a little tiny crank compared to the uh, larger one that this one has, like here, just for size comparison. Yeah, which one's going to last longer? You can figure that out, right? Right. Let's put that back down. So, yeah. So here we go. We got that. Now, this radio runs on an internal battery, a lithium battery, which is a 2,500 milliamp hour rated battery. I took this radio apart. It just stamped that. I think that's in. Okay. It does stick up a little bit. Um, and you got the dry battery bay I showed you. It's three, triple, three AA batteries, excuse me, not triple A's, which is cool. And it shows you which way to put the batteries in. Okay, if you guys can see that on video, if you can't, top battery, positive is to the left, middle to the right, bottom to the left. See that? Pretty simple. Okay. So, yeah, I like to, like to see that. Uh, three double A's. Nice. Keeps it running. You know, if your internal battery dies and you don't have the way it means to replace it, the radio is still good, still usable. That is a bonus. I do like that. Um, so, there we are. So, there's the features of the radio. So, we're going to do a little uh, audio demo. And uh, we'll use a Secret from Transmitter. I'm going to transmit uh, some royalty-free music over 92.9 megahertz on the FM band here. Uh, that way um, I don't get in trouble. So we can hear what this thing sounds like. And you can compare it to my other videos to get an idea. I use the same microphone, same setup, same distance from the camera. It gives you a general idea of what it's going to sound like. Let's go ahead and turn it on on the FM band and see if we can't get Radio Totterbird. There we go. Huge bass. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking.
There you go. You get an idea for an audio demo. I thought I'd do that real quick. Uh, so let's cruise through the bands. Yeah. So FM reception report. I like to do this. Uh, I go upstairs during the day around I don't know, noon, one o'clock. Same spot every every time I test one of these radios. Uh, extend the antenna. I move through the entire band, move the radio all around looking for stations, and I record how many I find. Now this radio surprised surprised me. It's, it's a DSP radio. As you'll know, most of these newer radios are digital signal processor, not an analog radio, uh, but did real well. Uh, old school analogs such as this here on FM, I get about 48 stations, which is an okay to good rating, which is two and a half stars. I do have a five tier basis. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, most radios are between okay to good. Okay, where was I? Yes, <laughs> FM uh, sensitivity was considering this radio good, which is three star. Yeah, camera kind of went out. <laughs> it happens. Uh, so three star rating on this for sensitivity, it found 67 stations, which is way above average. Average is 48. Again, again, okay to good rating. And hardly few radios get the excellent rating, which is five stars, which I probably scored three or four radios out of all the ones I reviewed. It was usually larger, bigger radios. But uh, not bad for an emergency radio. So yeah, I got sensitivity with 67, puts it in the good category, three stars. And then the FM selectivity, that's a separate category, how well it was able to distinguish between the fainter station and the stronger station without the stronger station overlapping. Uh, this got a solid good. I was pretty impressed with finding those sensitive uh, weak stations with this radio and uh, pretty happy. So there you go. Uh, three star, three star. So a good solid DSP radio. Loving it. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on and we're going to do a little band scan on FM, AM, and weather band. So let's go ahead and turn this on FM. going to try to go to the bottom of the band. I'm going to extend the antenna as much as I can here without hitting anything. And we'll see if we can pick anything up. Okay, it might be on AM. Hold on. Yeah, it wasn't on AM. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> Go rather quick. Oh, why does God kind of permit this? Again, that was uh, people who were affected by excessive dust, which mentalhealth.com Hi, this is Judy Things you try to hide take place in If the Lord draws you into closer fellowship Lots of things in South African mines Again, it was 10, 20 years old but Out of Egypt They Bought from the sons of Hamor The father Confusion and event in the Nothing he can
finding quite a bit. Not too hard to tune. I like this tuning knob. It's nice. Come on, station. Accuracy is fair. Okay, there you go. That's the FM band. Let's go to the weather band. Increasing clouds. Lows in the We're on channel 7. We're going to work our way backwards. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, mostly cloudy. Ch it's channel 6. It was 80 at Chicago's late. Channel 5. At Bloomington, it was clear with a temperature of 72. It was partly cloudy four. with a 70s. For Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of... There's three. Just barely picking it up. There's this afternoon, two. mainly south of Interstate 80. And now the extended outlook for the period Wednesday through Monday. Wednesday at the Sheboygan Lakeshore, the air temperature was 60. The winds were There's channel one. So not bad. I found five during the day. I think that was five there. Not bad at all. The air temperature was 65. Cool. All right, let's put the antenna down. Let's do an AM band scan real quick. And uh, we'll do some final thoughts. Compare it again to that uh, submarine one that I like a lot. So let's go ahead and go to the AM band. Start at the bottom. I'm just going to go real quickly here. Now when I took this apart, it had about a almost a two inch ferret antenna, nicely wound, but I don't know why this radio does not uh, operate well. You'd think with you know it's away from everything, just must be something with the circuit. It probably could do better, but good for locals. That's all you really need in an emergency. So I think we're on 720 WGN. You can see kind of where the indicator is. It's not quite accurate, but it's close. They expect the passenger count to reach 18,000. It might be 740 Zoomer Radio. We're in the evening. It's about, uh, it's pretty early. 126 AM Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. To give you an idea for this. So it's fairly quiet on distant stations, even at night. Can't imagine what. No, I was close. I, I, I had a meeting in Midtown that morning. I had a breakfast at the Hilton. A, a, a guy wins the Nobel Prize. I think this is 1000 uh, WMVP, Chicago. Wait for good. That's NJDiet.com. Bring your dream home to life at Colonial Marble and Granite. Discover over 5,000 flats in... There's a movie here. Yeah, he uh, all sorts of. Uh, it harms everybody, and you are no patriot and no good. Per
Yeah, so don't expect much. Uh, the Time Moon does do better. Okay, so there is the band scans. So you get an idea what this radio can do. Not bad. Uh, before we do final thoughts, I kind of want to bring this back up and kind of compare it with that uh, submarine one that I like a lot. And, uh, you know, why you'd pick one over the other. So the reason why I like this one better, and I know the looks, this is much nicer on the eyes. <laughs> this has a funky style to it. But I like this 2D knob. It's rather uh, easy to tune. Though this isn't bad at all either, uh, this dial is definitely not as accurate as this one. Uh, this is nicer to read and it's easier to see. Um, I do like that. Uh, the speaker, this is a better speaker than this one. This one definitely has tinier. Uh, this has an SOS mode, which is just as strong. <laughs> um, solar panels, uh, this one's definitely larger. Um, this does not have a reading lamp. This just has a simple little 380 flashlight on it, which is enough. Um, do you like that? I like the dynamo on this one better. It has the power bank feature also, which is good, but there's no jacket to protect it from the rain like this has. Um, yeah, so that is nice. The one thing I do love about this radio is the replaceable lithium ion battery. You just pull this door off and there you go. It takes a flat top battery. Right in here, you got a 2000 milliamp hour one and you can upgrade that, which is nice. So you could find yourself a battery like this here, a Molly cell. This is a 3500. Uh, you can charge it up, put that in there, and you've boosted your capacity uh, by quite a bit. So I do like that fact that I can have that. But it's a non-standard battery, but it's becoming more and more prevalent out there, easier to find. You just can't find it at Walmart walking around the aisles. Actually, you can. They do sell them, but they're in low capacity, I, I believe, in the hardware department. Uh, but there you go. Uh, so that is nice, but it doesn't have a dry battery bay. Uh, let's see, my colors went wonky. It happens when I turn that light on. It's got Iron Man in there. There we go. Get my yellows back. Nice. Um, so which one would you pick? Well, I'd probably, if I was recommending a radio to somebody, probably this one here. Because you do have the capability of that internal battery, which is nice. It's actually higher capacity than this one. This has two light sources. This has the dry battery bay that takes three AA batteries. So this, this uh, radio is going to last a family much longer than this one probably. Uh, this one just I like because it's unique. It's a little less expensive, and it uses those flat top batteries I'm a fan of. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, typically this would probably be your better choice. Cost-wise, they're about three dollar difference. Uh, three dollars more for this one is on sale. Uh, normally, it's just like I say, twenty five bucks. So there it is. Give you an idea which one. Um, there's others out there. There's a KA four hundred which I like. It's larger than this. It has Bluetooth. I think for five dollars more. Uh, his media player, it's kind of nice things to have. Um, the media player, definitely, when you're stuck without power, you can entertain yourself. And uh, yeah, I like those little things. So check those out. I'll have reviews up here in the iCard section for this radio, maybe the KA400, if I remember to put that there. Um, so that way you get an idea what these radios can do. So there it is, the KA369. Little fuzzies here on my table. All right, so does this get a recommended buy? Yes, it's a solid radio, great performer. Um, when I took it apart, it was well made on the inside. Uh, I was pretty impressed. Not impressed with the AM band, but that's okay. Uh, FM band, weather band works fine. Uh, one thing they could add is a weather alert mode. That would be nice. But other, otherwise, not a bad thing to have in an emergency where power goes out. You're covered as long as you keep it charged. And if you didn't, just throw some AA batteries in and you're good to go. So definitely awesome. Hope you like this video. I enjoyed making it. Two, if you enjoy keto radios and want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews uh, of these radios. I do like them. I'm glad they're coming out with newer ones. Uh, they're always coming out with innovating and doing different things, but you know, they also rubber stamp. Like I said, I think I saw this with uh, different names on it, but uh, they, they have a one-year warranty, which is really cool. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the KA369. Is it for you? Do you like my time Mahoon with the flat top uh, battery replacement there? Is that a cool thing for you? Um, do you like the options on here? Or is another weather radio that you like? I know there's some Eaton radios out there that are nice uh, in a closer price range. So let me know. All right, guys. Take care. And we'll see you in my next video.